Hi, we're here at GSI in the Mechanical Test Lab, and we'd like to demonstrate ASTM D4533 trapezoidal test, uh, trapezoidal tear testing of geotextiles. Typically, uh, we test them on a uh, set of grips like this. The grip faces are two inches by three inches, or 50 millimeters by uh, 76 millimeters. However, this is an absolute minimum. Uh, we have uh, a set of Curtis box grips in here that work a little bit better for us. Uh, you'll cut out a uh, specimen. Uh, the specimen has a, a notch in it, which is uh, 5 eighths of an inch or 15 millimeters. Uh, this is 3 by 8 uh, inches uh, of material, so uh, 76 millimeters by uh, 200 millimeters. We cut specimens out and you can see the notch in the specimen but you have to draw a trapezoid this trapezoid is a hundred millimeters on this side and 25 millimeters on this side we typically use a template and just mark this out with a, a magic marker white or black works just fine uh, it's set up in the continuous rate of extension machine 12 inches per minute we're going to run this or 300 millimeters per minute the grip separation between grip faces is one inch or uh, 25 millimeters. Uh, you'll see it as it's in here. Uh, we're ready to run the specimen. I set it up. It happens to be the uh, woven geotextile. This is set up like the quill of an arrow in here. The grip uh, stays parallel and you're propagating a tear across the specimen. And here you see uh, the rupture of the specimen. Uh, we can stop it and then open it up. And you can see how it was gripped. It was uh, gripped uh, and held very firmly in place by these grips. I'll demonstrate the uh, heat bonded non-woven. Okay, we're gonna load the specimen. This is a non-woven heat bonded geotextile. Typically goes into the upper grip first. subsequently uh, hit the return. You're bending the specimen so it's like the quill of an arrow. You have to make these two uh, lines parallel. And you see the excess of the material on the one side, and there's no excess on this, which is uh, the one side is uh, set apart 25 millimeters. We're ready to run the test. And here you see the propagation of the tear across the specimen. It's uh, moving towards you. Loads this side first, and then a rupture of the material. You see these lines have stayed parallel, and this is, you report the maximum. 10 in the machine direction, 10 in the cross machine direction, and subsequently you get a, a minimum average of those values and compare that with the specification. This is trapezoidal tear, ASTM 4533, uh, one of the index survivability properties for geotextiles.